going on, YouTube? It's your boy, RC3ENT, and I'm getting ready to come at y'all with a video for today. I got to work at like 2 o'clock, so I'm going to try to have this up before I go to work. And yeah, man, we're going to hop straight into it. Hold on just a second. It's cold outside, okay? Your lips going to get chapped. So, shit. Keep some, uh, chapstick. I did that so awkwardly. But, uh, keep some chapstick on your lips, okay? For your crusty mouth niggas. So, oh, sh dang, dang. Oh, my gosh. But anyways, let's get straight to it. All right, so, as you know, Sunday night. At Survivor Series, it will be Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey for the first time ever. It was supposed to be her versus Ronda Rousey in the main event of WrestleMania, most likely. But now, it's not because Becky Lynch got injured because of the klutz Nia Jax. Decked her dead in her jaw. And Becky Lynch can't compete. She has a broken face and a concussion. We don't know how long she's going to be out. I read somewhere on Instagram that she has to have surgery, but until WWE breaks that, I do not believe that. But anyways, that's not the point of this video, what kind of it is. But anyways... Becky Lynch should go one-on-one -on -one with Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania in the main event, okay? At this point, it's like Becky Lynch is the biggest thing you have in the women's division right now besides Charlotte Flair, and you have to ride that wave until it's gone. So if I'm Vince McMahon, this is how I will book Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey getting to WrestleMania. Boom. So if Becky Lynch does have to have surgery, okay, you... If Becky Lynch does have to have surgery, she has to drop the championship, Okay. We'll have a tournament to de determine a new SmackDown Women's Champion, which will ultimately culminate in Charlotte Flair regaining the championship. We can do that. I'm fine with that. I love Charlotte Flair. So, we can do that. But if she doesn't have to have surgery, she's still going to have to drop the championship regardless to get to Ronda Rousey. So, in my opinion, you obviously have her drop it to Charlotte Flair or Asuka. And either Oscar or Charlotte Flair, WWE can really make up their mind about who they want to want to pick up the women's division on SmackDown at that point. But if it's me, if I'm doing the booking, I'm picking Charlotte Flair to go ahead and pick up the women's championship for an eight time and carry the division over there on the blue brand. Okay, so we make it to the Royal Rumble. Somehow, some way, Charlotte Flair does not get to compete in the finals match of the mixed women's challenge. I mean, of the mixed tag team challenge, and Becky Lynch takes takes her place in the last like, match for the the winner gets the 30th entry in the Royal Rumble. Becky Lynch and AJ Styles or Jeff Hardy, whoever is still fighting at that point, win, wins that match. Jeff Hardy gets the 30th entry, and uh, Becky Lynch gets the 30th entry. Boom. We, hit to, we head to the Royal Rumble, okay? So at that point, Becky Lynch... Actually, no, let's rewind. Sorry, let's rewind a little bit. Okay, so... Becky Lynch will ultimately have to drop the championship. So say they do win or whatever, and she's still the champion. Then you have her fight Charlotte Flair for the uh, SmackDown Women's Championship. And the winner, either walk, whoever walks out the champion, the other person walks out with the 30th entry. So Becky Lynch loses. She walks out with the 30th entry into the Royal Rumble. Boom. Okay, so we got the Royal Rumble, January. Um... Becky Lynch comes out number 30. You have a couple of superstars left. I say it comes down between her, Asuka, Zelina Vega, and Nia Jax. Boom. Your final four. And it comes down to her, Asuka and Becky Lynch for the final two. Boom. Becky Lynch wins the Royal Rumble. And we ain't even got to wait for her decision. You know she wants to fight Ronda Rousey. You have Ronda Rousey come up, hold up, hold up the Raw Women's Championship. And Becky Lynch makes it official right then and there after the match. That she will go one-on-one -on -one with Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania 35 for this. Raw Women's Championship. Boom. So the build between those two can uh, honestly just be the baddest woman on the planet versus the man in the company, Becky Lynch. Ooh, the lights flickering. Where Sting at? Where, where, where Sting at, coach? But, um, uh, yeah. Okay, so you build to that. that. That is the simplest build that you can possibly do. And it's going to get over. Baddest woman on the planet versus the man of the WWE, Becky Lynch. You have those two collide at WrestleMania, and you have the main event. And I'm not just saying you have a main event because Roman Reigns is not there in the main event. You have the main event because that will be the first time in history a woman, a woman's match has headlined WrestleMania. Even though it should have been Charlotte Flair to do it first, you still give Becky Lynch that honor and that privilege to go ahead and do what she does best, and that's steal the show. 
those two main event, those two tear the house down, and it culminates in Becky Lynch winning this, the Raw Women's Championship. I don't know why I want to keep saying SmackDown, but that's what it culminates in, her becoming the Raw Women's Champion, Charlotte is the SmackDown Women's Champion over on the blue brand, and at the end of the night, you have Charlotte Flair come out, and you have her hug Becky Lynch, and you have Sasha Banks come out, and you have Bayley come out, and they all just stand in the middle of the ring holding up the four, and hopefully by that point, we have tag team championships for the women and Beck and Bailey and Sasha Banks hold those championships so they're all in the ring just shining in all their glory throwing up the four and honestly I think it'll be great a great thing to see in the WWE for WrestleMania because honestly it'll be a little shake up in the WWE to have women main event and I think it'll draw more people in to watch the product or maybe purchase the pay-per-view if you don't have WWE Network for that fact alone that women are main eventing and it's two of the biggest names in wwe becky lynch the stone cold of the wwe in my opinion and ronda rousey but man we finna get up out of here i gotta go to work soon so i gotta get this edited real quick and uh get it up for y'all but y'all can let me know what y'all think in the comments down below is that a good scenario for becky lynch versus ronda rousey main event in wrestlemania 35 for the raw women's championship but y'all can let me know what y'all think in the comments down below man don't forget to leave a subscribe for your boy here on the road to 150 subscribers now we are at 104 check out my latest video over here and y'all know what to do man don't forget to comment like subscribe for the big dog rc3 e and t and i'm out of here